Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well. All right, let's get into this reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box below, but please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to take a, a look at the general messages, see what's coming up for you here, what Virgo needs to know real quick, and then we're going to just segue into love, okay? So, oh, first thing. Oh, two things. You've got the key. Locked doors can now be opened. And the green man, the forces of nature favor you. Wow, very interesting. Okay, locked doors can now be open. Somebody's getting a key or is using their key to unlock a very important, wow, that's weird. I just had a strange image of a video game from, um, <laughs> my goodness, I'm dating myself, from, uh, it's an old Atari, 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 you remember Atari? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to stop. An old Atari game where it was just heavily pixelated. I just see this image, this on the screen. No idea what the name of the game is called, but heavily pixelated and you have to put a key. It's like some kind of dungeon game. Put a key into a door and there's like either these heavily pixelated square shaped dragons or seahorses. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm being shown that. I don't know what's going on there, but that's the image they're just giving me. So some of you might be getting a key to an old home. Uh, maybe you're purchasing an old home or you're going back to your family home in June. Um, or you found an old key that used to belong to an old home somewhere, childhood perhaps, or somewhere. Um, if you, they're giving me like, like the 80s early 80s I don't know okay so strange okay or buying a home that was built in the early 80s or that okay it's just weird there's some kind there's something there's there's a key to unlock something from the past that that's just an overall general message okay so receiving a key to unlock something from the past or your your it could be literally or symbolically okay you also have the talisman you're destined to su succeed but with this green man the forces of nature favor you um hmm okay so they're giving me um an indian reservation and that's all they're showing me is an indian reservation so i don't know how that would relate to you or if it does but take it take it as it comes here <clears throat> and the talisman um, there's something here to do with um, there's destiny here succeeding in something okay and and it's all attached to this key all right so you have you're unlocking something and you're finding something okay that is kind of like maybe an artifact or or an actual artifact or just something perhaps from a long time ago this is there's a feeling of discovery here um this it's a signal there's a signaling coming in and this thing that you're going to find or you're going to come across or discover is actually going to open things up in a completely new direction in your life um, this is like a signaling this is like a sign this is an item or an artifact or something it's the last piece of the puzzle that you are going to receive where you're going to get clarity and be in this position where okay I know what I need to do now point blank period okay so it either it's either the key itself is it's like a scavenger hunt. It's like a little clue. You're getting this like final clue to complete this puzzle. Okay. Okay. You have the Sphinx. Choose your words carefully. Very interesting. Hmm. All right. They're giving me some desert, a desert area here. Um, it's either an actual desert and it's oh a windy or a windy desert or a windy area the winds of change uh your surroundings will undergo transition so you've got something here where like nobody's saying anything nobody's talking and you have to fill the void 
with your words. You have to say something. Um, and you're being advised here to be very selective with the words because words are magic. Words, when we, not just when we speak, even when we write, the phonetics, we're spelling. And spell, every time we write and every time, if you have to write something or we speak, we're casting spells with our words. Words have very powerful influence on ourselves and our self-talk and in our speech to other people. How we verbalize, whether we're speaking or whether we're using nonverbal cues to other people, you have to be very selective. I see you, you're being advised to be very selective because the things that you say or the things that you write will have, there'll be like the winds of change coming here. Things are going to change based on what energy you put into a, a, a blank space, like writing on a blank page. So if you're in the, if you're doing something here where you, you have to write something, either there's something, it feels like writing to influence, but being very particular um, in order to affect some kind of change with what you're saying. So you may receive a letter from someone or some type of communication um, where the words are selected very carefully, or you might be uh, sending something, okay? And as it, for me, it was coming through as a form of advice for you to be very selective with what you say, um, what you put out there in order to be effective, okay? Be mindful. Be mindful of what you're saying. Let me see what else is going on here. One more card, please, for Virgo. Okay, you've got serendipity. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. Yeah, this is this, what you say, how you speak. In this dark area, or not dark, it's bright. It, it's, it's light, light. It's brightly lit, this area, it, like a piece of paper, a white piece of paper. So it's not dark, it's just empty. There's nothing there, it's deserted. And I think that's why I was picking up desert. So it's deserted. Um, think before you speak. Think before you put the pen or pencil to paper um, because what you say is gonna change everything. They get the word bright here as well. Bright new prospects are on the horizon. Um, sometimes omitting things is a form of speech. What we're not saying is also um, a way we verbalize things as well. So I don't, I'm not exactly sure what this energy they're giving me here is, but it's really important that you, um, not just, uh, this is to have an effect on an external situation. It's not, um, it's not for you to just kind of, I guess, verbatim, just whatever's coming out of your, your head to just put it down or to just speak it. This is to be very strategic in your wording. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Those are very strong messages. Somebody here, I guess, needs to hear them. I don't know to the point exactly what they mean, but I can definitely tell you that um, there's some major things in June that what you do and what you say are going to have a huge long-term effect on your success. So be very selective with what you're doing. And also there's a key to the past. Um, you, you may have to choose your words carefully based on past something you'll discover from your past, which will help you make this change for the future. All right, let's get into your love reading, Virgo. Okay, you've got a love call coming in. Maybe that's connected to this. Someone expresses love. There's a message of love thinking of you and letting you know. Okay. Camera. Wow. Somebody's thinking about you, remembering, reminiscing. Um, there's a keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making memories. Okay. Um, so we've got a love call and you've got something to do with a camera here. Maybe someone's a photographer. Um, a love call and a camera. P pictures of you. I just heard that Cure, the Cure song. Pictures of you. Okay, let's 
see what else do you have oh addiction why is my thing shut off okay codependent obsession possession controlling has a block and restraint okay virgo somebody's looking at your pictures and they can't stop <laughs> Are they looking at, looking, retracing back to their memories of you and seeing you in their mind's eye and they can't stop thinking of you? Um, this is like obsessive behavior, okay? Um, and I feel like this person is going to reach out and say something about this or that they're thinking of you. They want to let you know or express their love to you in some way okay so there could be so the picture feels more so in the mind there for some of you there could be pictures that somebody's looking at this feels more so in the mind somebody's images of you in their mind recalling reminiscing okay wow Virgo so expect a love call the month of June from someone This is not uh, coming up as someone you've never met before, this, per this person. Um, now, it could, I will, one caveat, this person may have seen you somewhere at some point, even today. They could be have bumped into you today and then are, you know, later in the month um, to try to find you in some way because of this codependent, this obsessiveness, they seek you out. Okay, and for and you know for others, this is someone that you know has images of you already in their mind, or actually has images of you. Let me see what the love messages are here. Okay, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Okay, Virgo, this is somebody you knew before. Okay, someone from your past. All right, let's get into your reading and see. your messages are here okay yeah someone from your past is just obsessed with you um, they've been thinking about you um, they're reminiscing they've learned from the past they want to make new memories okay all right so we've got the ten of Pentacles and the nine of Pentacles interesting I'm picking up the numbers one zero nine here okay <clears throat> hmm. All right, so I'm picking up this person, maybe at one time was in a relationship or was married, or a very committed family connection, or um, very yeah, they could be very devoted to their work, or if it was a family work situation, this person is now moved from that because the 10, the 9 reduces from the 10, okay, so which equals one and this person this is a card of being single and independent um, someone working on their own um, a breakaway from they may have left their job um, let's see um, living their own life now doing their own thing very independent very solo energy here okay um, someone who was in a family either family work, a work, a family business, um, or was, yeah, in a very long, maybe a long-term committed marriage or relationship are now uh, on their own, okay? This person coming in this way, all right? Pentacle energy. And this very well could be you, Virgo. You might be branching out on your own as well, um, as far as your career goes here. You may have left something, maybe leaving a relationship or a family situation or just being more independent and self-sufficient, okay? So let's see what else is going on. I see that energy for someone, since we're looking at another person. Um, I see this coming up here in June. Whoever this person is, is um, no longer where they were and now they're on their own or will be coming to not being in some type of committed secure type of partnership whether it's a, with a person a place or a thing okay all right 
Ten of Wands. Oh, wow. An Ace of Cups. So, yeah, this burden, putting this burden down. This, And here's the One again. Okay? So, whatever kind of thing this person was in, it was definitely a heavy, heavy struggle. Uh, it took a physical toll on this person. And... They've dropped it now. They're done. The struggle's over. The Ten of Wands is always the end of the burden, the end of the struggle. And now here's new love. Here's a new potential opportunity here, okay? Um, so let me take a look. Yeah. Wow. This person, oh my goodness, there's a lot of cutoff game going on here. I feel like whoever this person is, um, they had like some kind of attachments in the past or there was something that was going on that they were committed to, or they were indebted to, um, they were locked in wholeheartedly and they've cut that off with that five of swords. They're out of that. And in fact, this person here is holding three swords. So even that's an energy of like breaking some hearts. Okay. This is like divorce. This person is um, uh, divorcing or separating or there's some type of an, an argument. Um, this person with the, the world or the wheel of fortune is just moving forward. Why is it in reverse? <laughs> oh, they're telling me, okay, it's in reverse because they're trying to move forward. They're trying, they're cutting things off so they can move forward or be on their own and, and become more independent. And um, they've been stuck for a long time. And I feel like this person is taking the reins and unsticking themselves, okay? Now, let me see. Does Virgo, Virgo, this is somebody that you know. This is somebody that you, you, you may have had a past relationship with. Uh, whatever kind of a relationship with someone you might have had. Now, is this person, are they, I feel like this person's coming towards you, okay? And they're going to be cutting off or breaking away and becoming single uh, and just on their own, focusing on their work and their career. <clears throat> but they're, um, the purpose of this is they want to have new love. I don't know if they were connected to someone or someone else where that wasn't possible. That Ace of Cups is all new beginnings. This person is like, they needed to break away from something. They need to break away so that they can have um, a new beginning in love. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. So we have the Queen of Cups here. So this is Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean, Energy, male or female. Okay. Really connecting with this. This person is really connecting with their emotions here. Okay. Yeah. They've abandoned. There was a sense of like being left out in the cold. This person doesn't want to feel that way. I feel like they're looking. This person's looking into this cup and reflecting on how they feel. I know you can't see it. Sorry about that. It takes a while. Um, reflecting on how they feel, reflecting on their emotions. Okay. Um, the five of, uh, there was like maybe some, they were, they, they were ill. Um, but it feels like to me going forward, I feel like they're questioning why they're alone. why they're struggling with their emotions. This is what they're questioning here. You know something? It's so strange. It's like somebody was living in um, it feels like this person was just doing what they had to do because it was what they had to do and they weren't really connected emotionally to what they were in in the past and uh, because of this person's thoughts about you 
continuously you know sometimes like because it's pentacle energy i feel like this person was very addicted to their career or their work and and you know they always say you know oh well get into your work focus on your work it, it's very therapeutic and helps you when your emotions feel overwhelming i feel like this person has by nature very overwhelming feelings deep feelings emotional feelings and work kind of made that i guess i want to say easier to deal with but the problem with that is it left that person alone not with anyone really they didn't feel connected okay so they're coming to terms with that here okay and for some reason you know this person has you on their mind you are on their mind okay the king of swords oh wow okay Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male or female energy here. So plotting and scheming. I feel like this person I'm hearing very focused on training. Very focused on training. Training something. Learning. Very focused on learning. Okay, they might be a teacher or a professor, something that they do in their job, um, or they have like, um, or they, they do training of some sort, some kind of training or schooling or teaching. Okay, let me see, why are they showing me this here? Okay, so five of wands, this person. Okay, so we have the death card, Scorpio, this person. Um, might did some kind of physical work also. Um, training, the five of wands can represent like competition or games, um, or sparring. Okay, it's not serious. So there's not like, there's not like major fighting or anything like that going on, but it feels more like gameplay kind of energy here. obstacles sports something along those lines okay but that's coming to an end which is interesting the death card here huh that's interesting i feel like whatever this person was so focused on in their career their work um they're actually rethinking this here um i feel I don't know that they're rethinking their entire career here, but it feels like they're leaving this aspect of it, which is very bizarre. Let me see how this person feels about you. I want to see what these messages, if there's like, because obviously this person's coming in with a love call. So what are their feelings? What does this change? They're making some huge changes. Um, and it's mostly because they can't get you off their mind. That's how I feel with this addiction here because they keep replaying some old visual images in their mind about you. Okay, let me see. Oh, wow. Wow, this, per oh my goodness. Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. This person wants to give their love to you. This person is admires you incredibly. Okay, they, with the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person just wants to serve and help and give and share and have that reciprocity with you. You're getting some kind of this love call is more than just a love message coming in from this person. It's and and you know, even if this person just tells you that you've been on their mind and they're just thinking about you, or it's just a simple message of love, or they just express their love, like there's more behind it with this Knight of Cups. It's very romantic energy. They may show it to you by way of like um they might be very practical their love language might be like service so they may sh they may try to express their love to you by way of um you know paying for things acts of service is this person's love language paying for things um helping with things serving giving little gifts things like that and i feel like this is something that it's going to be even that love call there be, there's some kind of attachment here where i feel like they're going to give you something give you some kind of a gift or like a mini like a little gift of some sort okay let 
let me see. All right, so now we've got the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Wow, Virgo, this person is like really thinking about you heavily and especially in a very lusty, passionate, fiery way as well. Okay, we have two knights. I mean, this person's not only in love with you, but they are like in lust, like crazy attracted to you. Okay, so I feel like they, for the most part, <laughs> Like when they think about you and, and just know, you know, because there's Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, we have pretty much almost all the signs showing up. The only signs not fully showing up yet here is the earth signs. But if, you know, it doesn't matter. I feel like it's one person embodying, you know, at times they're embodying their, um, their emotional energy, which is more in the yin, very passive, their emotions. Um, and at other times they're embodying, it depends on the situation. They need to think logically, they're in that energy, but with their passions here, um, it feels like this person generally is quite reserved as that king or queen of wands, male or female energy, more in a masculine, bold leadership position. But when they think about you, when they're sitting there thinking about you, you stir up their, um, their passions okay and this is what I feel like this person because it feels like they're reflecting on their emotions but this seems to just happen automatically you know that that, that physical feeling just it does something to their senses it affects their entire body so they're very very attracted to you on a, oh my goodness <laughs> nine of cups oh and the six of cups okay when they think about you here like it's like they're drunk in love <laughs> okay um this this is past memories here this is like thinking about the past um thinking about reconciliation maybe somebody you knew when you were younger like maybe children or um i'm thinking about having children this is daydreaming this nine nine of cups this is like this is like the wish card here wishing you guys can reconcile wishing to come back together they just all up in the feels you know this is a very like gluttonous kind of kind of card here this person is like drunk on love um maybe they've put on some weight <laughs> they're just like they can't they're immobile um they might be eating a lot for comfort um it's just this is like enjoying the pleasures this is like a pleasure card wow virgo this person's like i can't even believe all these cards are coming out like this this person is just crazy like wishing to get back together wishing to reconnect with you um you're going to hear from them virgo in june definitely expect a love call from this person okay oh wow the chariot oh my goodness and the hierophant cancer taurus energy here Now this person is coming in to conform. If you had some, if you have some like a certain way that you deal with people or things that you want, this is like falling in line here. I'm feeling like this is a mission. They're on a mission here, falling in line with what's expected, okay? To be in a committed type of a relationship here we have two keys here maybe they hold the other key maybe that's the puzzle piece like i said in the beginning that you're trying to you know sort things out and somebody else is trying to sort things out so that chariot energy feels like you know that's the yin and the yang this is the balance um and i feel also we have like the yin and the yang the sphinxes again that's twice now, okay? And you also have two people down here. So these are very balanced cards when you look at them. There's someone in the center at the top, and then there's two at the bottom. And I feel like, Virgo, this is kind of like your energy where you're just like very, like in this energy of like, okay, expectations, this is how it, living a very spiritual life, um, having quite a bit of knowledge. And this person is a mover. This person is always... Um, maybe they drive or maybe they're in like uh, a car or they drive for a living or something like that. This person is basically, it feels like, um, oh, sorry. 
Hold on a second. It feels like this person is coming your way. This person's always in movement. That's what, the, that's what I feel. And you are just kind of like out there um, holding people accountable <laughs> or just having these expectations expect like you you're like okay well you have to conform I'm not budging <laughs> that's kind of it's a weird energy and I, I don't feel like it's tough but you, you just have like this very conventional traditional way about you when it comes to commitment and marriage and I just feel like this person is coming towards that here <clears throat> like for the long the long term all right, and I was asking how they felt, and it feels to me like with the Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups, this person's like, you're a wish come true for them. You're the one for them. There's the past life connection here. Even if you didn't know this person from your past or knew them before, um, it feels like it. So there might have been some kind of recognition um, or there may be some kind of recognition there's something here this person is picking up on where it feels like they they look at themselves in the mirror and they see you. <laughs> I know that might sound kind of creepy, but there's a similarity, this past, past life thing. There's a similarity between the two of you. And you could look completely different, but there's something, something very similar between two people here. Okay, one last card. Fantasy, Seven of Cups. The King of Cups. Okay. Um, so we are missing. Uh, the only Earth sign we had was Virgo and Taurus. Um, it doesn't mean that, I mean, that might be significant that Capricorn is not showing up here. Um, but why is Capricorn not showing up here? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so if you were involved with the Capricorn, um, there's been some kind of breakup with the Capricorn and the Capricorn is connecting elsewhere, um, but it's not serious, okay? It might just be friendship or trying to get some healing, okay? And that's just a very specific message for somebody. Um, with this King of Cups and the Seven of Cups, this King of Cups is in uh, male or female energy fantasy mode about you the deepest deepest feelings they're like all up in their head they're all up in the, the, vis the visual images of you and it's affecting them on an emotional level wow virgo all right let me get in to see some love messages here what are the love messages that call that love call that comes in is going to be profound I can't stop thinking about you. I need, we need to reconnect. I, they might even tell you that they're in love with you. They might even propose or make some kind of a love offer to you. There might be some picture exchanges with the camera. These memories, they cannot stop. <laughs> okay, messages of love. Oh, marriage. So this relationship is moving toward a sacred union. So whether that's actual marriage, um, the way we know it, or in the 5D, there is some type of a sacred bond here. It's going in that direction. Okay, and acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, this is just accepting the fact. This person is accepting the fact that you are their, that, you know, you're their person. They understand. It feels like this person understands now why the two of you connected. They may not be able to put a label on it, but they understand. They're kind of, it's like an aha, like, oh, I get it. Now I get it. You know? Um, and they're questioning them, like saying, them, why is it that I can't stop thinking about Virgo? Why? When there's, if there's been other people or I've connected with other people, why is Virgo still on my mind, still in my heart? And it's kind of like, oh, it's got, then Virgo must be the one for me. I think Virgo is the one for me. Okay. Now, some of you might have been married to this person in the past. And then, you know, there was, for some reason, maybe you're still married to them. 
but there's been a very long separation. Um, and some of you, there might have been a divorce or some kind of breakup or something. I'm also hearing that Capricorn as well um, may have had a, a, another relationship with someone and that's broken off and that could be them coming back here, but they're dealing with that right now. Okay, like it's currently going through breakup mode. Okay, what else Spirit wants you to know? Okay, obstacles. Some unhealed wounds may be blocking forward movement, and but there is healing. Old wounds and childhood issues are being revisited here. Okay, so there's healing of obstacles. Whatever the obstacles were in this connection, there's healing of these. Unhealed wounds, old wounds. Okay, 100%. And that's that's mostly why this is this energy is occurring. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Okay, and there's awakening. Someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation here, Virgo. This person is making huge changes. Huge. Let me get a, um, a moon card to see what the messages, the moon messages are. Yep, someone is going through major transformation. We have the death card there, so that is definitely... Uh, leaving the present, everything that they're doing, disconnecting from it, going off on their own, and coming back around your way. Okay. All right. So, but nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Go with the flow, Virgo. Go with the flow. All right. Let's get into some numbers and then I'll do some charms. Oh, wow. Wait till I show you this. Wait till you see this, Virgo. Okay. Just want to show you real quick. When I was pulling out these um, numbers and signs, one of the charms fell out. And I'm going to just start with that real quick. We have a skull and crossbone. Okay. This can represent poison. <laughs> That girl is poison. Or um, that could represent death. Okay. Uh, or maybe someone's a pro uh, maybe someone <laughs> someone lives in the Caribbean or is, maybe someone's a pirate. <laughs> um, it's very interesting. This kind of feels like um, detoxification, not toxification. Because of in context of all the other messages, that's what I'm picking up here some kind of poison there was poison in something so there may be a um, illness this person also because of the five of pentacles this person i was saying i think at the beginning that they were feeling ill emotionally ill um and trying to heal from that um maybe something that they were in before but also um love sick and drunk on love here with you all right let's take a look at so the signs we have wow that's crazy that's never happened before i don't know if you can see this but we have gemini gemini so it's double gemini and then scorpio scorpio double scorpio okay so we have the number 11 we have 17 23 1970 we have june august <clears throat> February, March. Okay. Um, November. All right, let's see what else there is here. Okay, Scorpio. I'm sorry, I looked at it wrong. Because the, the Scorpio glyph and the Virgo glyph are ex almost exactly the same. Um, but there is Scorpio down here. We have Virgo, Sagittarius, double Virgo, and there's Leo. Okay. Um, okay, somebody, uh, uh, I'm hearing the age 40, um, the year 67. They're giving the number 661, okay? 
um, also 79 and 69 <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> um, 46 and then there then um, 11418 11418 all right one more and then I'm gonna do the charms more charms okay Aries here's Capricorn now coming back in Taurus September 20, uh, we have Taurus twice, actually. Um, we have September 15th, 16th. Someone is 51. Um, August 26th. Um, hmm. and 1991 and they're also giving me um august 29th okay all right let's get into your charms see what your charm messages are here so again we have the skull and crossbones okay and then they're just telling me either someone's name is Michael or Mickey, because <clears throat> I'm feeling like maybe Michael. Um, there's a dragonfly again, and the cat again, and also a bone. <laughs> a bone. And a vampire bat, or a bat, okay. Huh. Bones, Bones. Somebody watched an old show called Bones? I used to like a show called Bones. Or somebody looks like one of the actors in that show. Maybe one of the lead actors in that show, Bones. And remember I was saying earlier, digging something up or finding an artifact or something. Okay, that, that's very, that's attaching, they're attaching um, this to this bone here. Digging something up that's been buried is coming out, coming to the light. Somebody's learning from the past here, having a, having a new perception. Um, okay, somebody, all right, they're just giving me the name or the word. Well, it's like a cat's name. I think it's like Jade. I'm hearing, or I'm just hearing the word Jade. Okay. And, um, yeah, Halloween is coming out to me here, but I'm looking at bat shaped. I'm, they're showing me bat shaped Halloween candy. So it's like a peanut butter and chocolate kind of thing, or a little, um, honey flavored, it's like bat shaped candy. I'm seeing. And I'm also picking up um, okay, this with this dragonfly, they're showing me um, one of those coloring books. They're like maybe they have mandalas or something or you color them in they look like they're black and white so they're like outlines and it looks like a mandala and all kinds of other designs that you color in you could do it on an iPad or you could do it in an actual book somebody's doing that or has done that or was thinking about maybe you saw a book somewhere and you're like oh I think I want to try that Th that energy is coming up to me here and um, they just said to give you some names they just said to give you some some names. Okay, hold on. I have to give you some names or some initials. I just threw these out here. Okay. So, <clears throat> somebody's name starts with an R. I'm seeing an R, and I'm also seeing a le the letter G. <clears throat> I'm seeing Q Z. Q Z. Q 
and a Z. Q, Z. Okay, somebody's 27. They're just saying a Q and a Z. Those are very, uh, not letters that are used very often. So Q, Z. Um, yeah, there's the Q is back again. Okay, so now we have a letter P and also um, a K. Somebody's got a K and a P in their name. Okay, and the letter J. Somebody's name has J in it. And a C, okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that was informative and helpful. I hope you enjoy the background music. I changed it up a little bit. Um, yep, so keep your eyes out for um, some new videos coming up on my Gumroad account. Um, do check those out. There's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff I'm going to be uploading there for you guys. So, um, yeah, that was it. I hope you all have a great evening, and I will speak to you soon. All right, take care.